Breaking news within the last hour, the family of a man shot and killed by a state trooper early Monday morning saw the body worn camera video today. And in the last hour, the state patrol released the video of the fatal shooting of Ricky Cobb the second. We want to warn you this video can be disturbing to watch. Here's a look at an edited version edited by us of the video of the traffic stop on I-94 near Lowry Avenue in Minneapolis. State patrol showed body worn camera video from three troopers along with dash cam video from a squad. It shows a trooper talking with Cobb and asking him to get out of the car. Cobb asked to call his lawyer. After repeated requests to leave the car, the trooper opens the driver's side door as another trooper opens the passenger side. It appears as they try to get Cobb out, he takes off and both troopers fall to the ground. The trooper at the passenger side door fires his weapon. The video shows the troopers run back to their squads and catch up to Cobb's crashed car on the interstate. We're told they started rendering aid. Some pieces of the video are blurred, including Cobb's face. His mom, family, and supporters gathered at the governor's mansion in St. Paul this afternoon. They expressed their grief over the killing of Cobb and to demand the unedited video of the incident. Cobb's mom says she wants justice for her son. She spoke after seeing the video. I'm hurting so incredibly bad for my heart, my soul, and my body. and the impact it has on his children, his siblings, is devastating. While the whole traffic stop lasted longer than 20 minutes, it was roughly a minute from when the trooper asked Cobb to get out of the car to the time when shots were fired. We're told the troopers had minor injuries, were treated and released. The BCA is investigating. We'll have more ahead at 5 and 6.